Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Vampire Arm. It's Game. We're here to bring you some files and let's get the show on the road. I don't remember what I was doing, but uh. It was something. Uh. I need to learn how to mesmerize people so then I can kill them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know where he is. I don't have anything for migraine, so I gotta find that fast. Uh, this is in where? West End. I haven't gone there yet, so. Ha! It's serious here, it's healthy here, and stable here. I. Stable because I haven't found this lady. I don't know who the hell these guys are. These guys are probably sick too. Oops. I remember what I was doing. Um. <laughs> There's so many side missions. Uh. Oops. I hope she's not dead. The marker can be removed. What? What the fuck? Where is this lady? Shit, I have to go back there? Oh boy. Let's go back to the graveyard. She's somewhere over here. I'd step back, sir. Done! Off your chop! Where is it? Where is it? Oh, she's just being nice. Oh, they all died in about the same area. Easy pick up for me. I think I went the wrong way. Yes, I did. I didn't have to kill those poor bastards. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I feel bad. Okay, so I think I made a right turn. Yeah, that's right. There's a dark alley I'm supposed to jump to. Or jump through. Oops, I went a little bit longer. Route. I guess that's okay. Can't we can sort it out right? It's not my call, Baron. You pay one way or another. Please, Joe. How long have we known each other? We even used to be neighbors for Christ's sake. This is this way. Yeah, it's 
locked, all right. I feel like I left her alone for too long. She might be dead. Oh shit, I didn't look at what it had. Fuck. Didn't have what I needed. TXP, but I really hate those things. I just gotta find her. Yeah, I have absolutely no fucking clue where the hell she is. Goes this way. I don't remember. Shouldn't you go back home, where you'll be safe? Maybe later. But for now, I need to talk to my husband at the cemetery, Mr. Reed. But who's your husband? <coughs> Nothing shows up for her, so I don't know what to do. Shouldn't you go back home? Maybe later. But for now, I need to talk to my husband at the cemetery, Mr. She's Reed. She's gonna die. I don't know what to do. 
Maybe we have to find her husband. It's the graves. Or the bodies. Well, that's not the bodies, I'm sure, because she would have she would have seen that one already. This place is so big. How am I supposed to find this goddamn? You find a marker with the same name. <laughs> Near Lie Archer Wood Bead. Mesmerizer and escort her there. Well, first things first, let me just look around for dead bodies. I don't have to mesmerize her to kill her. Probably him. Brisk blood sample. Water rich blood sample. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Wait, is this a. Okay, I was gonna be like, is this what I think it is? And it isn't. Same thing. I cannot enter. Be dead. I just, I, I just know that she's gonna be dead.
increase damage, increase life regeneration, increase endurance. I need endurance. Oh, watch her be dead. I just know it. Oh, I just know it. As in good or bad? Oh, well, it's stable now. I'm happy about that. And she's not dead, surprisingly. Oh, now it says something. Convince her to go back to Whitechapel. Okay. Oh, crap. They're back in here. God damn it. The enemies probably respawned. Okay, sounds good. Um, let's do this, I guess. Shit, they're back. I need EXP, so I might as well. Oh shit, there's three! Ah, right, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off! Ooh, let's try this. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Get off, get off, get off, get off. These guys are here. That means it's this way.
Wait, she's not here? Oh, man. Really? The hose all the way over here? Fuck. Damn, damn it all the way. I should pay attention to the map. Oh shit, oh, that scared me. I thought it was a person walking up. It wouldn't have been easier if I just walked out around. Ooh. Can she not hear or see that? I don't know. Are you alright, Miss Shun? My name is Zhao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you alright? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Oh boy, I really don't want her to be a dead. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Sorry, I don't know her. Are you on your own? Mm. Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. I've seen many deaths in my life, and we all grieve in our own way. Some stay silent, or need to shout. Others need company, and some just can't stand it. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. I said something right! Tell me how your Jeez. husband died, Xiao Xun. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming, to have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come? Or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. Oh, I'm sorry. She's healthy. I don't want to do that. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Oh my god, I'm hurt. This is this is painful. Like like feeling um uh, feeling this that kind of pain that you can't even freaking cry. This was my last relationship. Cough cough. Anyway, just kidding. Okay, um you can't see. You really oh, that's the wrong thing to say. Stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. I didn't mean to say that, I'm sorry. Uh, I need to apologize, I'm sorry. To be honest, I don't know. Please forgive me if I've upset you. We must all honor our departed loved ones in our own way. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just mm -hmm. say... I, too, have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss, then, Dr. Reed. 
Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. You don't. And who no. else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell oh me this? God. Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I wanted you to know that you have done nothing wrong. Unlike me. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? Thanks. You could say she was also killed by a terrible okay. disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. Yes, maybe. Remember, remember guys, it's not how you... Well, it's not the problem that's the fault. It's how you deal with it. Really you should go problems. home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. He oh, oh, excuse me? This ain't a he? Fucking gender freak. Sexist! Sexist! It's a she! Get it right, guys. You can do a little bit more coding for the she part. Okay, see, they told me that before. And that that didn't, uh, that didn't fucking happen. He died. So I swear to God, if she dies, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be like, that was a meal I could've had. See, I succeeded for the other one too. But guess what? Still fucking died. Hold on. I'm gonna check this. You guys are my witnesses. I succeeded. I flippin' succeeded. Is that not what happened with the- oh. Is that not what happened with the other guy? Where's the other guy? Did you have fucking- Ah! Okay. I'm upset. I really am. I'm very upset. Okay. I'm gonna go to sleep. And I swear to God, if she dies, I'm gonna be one pissed ass motherfucker. What is the mesmerizing bit, though? Because I want to be able to mesmerize people. Two hands. Oh, these are all attacks. Okay, well, I'll leave it at that then, but what if? I swear to god. Okay, you know what? Let me go find something to kill, and then we can go ahead and, uh. Ah. Alright, I need to just level, so. Go back to the cemetery. I'm sure there's something I can kill.
Sorry, I'm still locking this thing. Okay, let me see, can I go through here? Oh, yeah. oh please tell me I can re-enter that. towards Pembroke. Please tell me I can open this. Thank God! I was gonna be so upset. Did I level enough? No, I didn't. God damn it. Okay, let me go back. Since I can come back. Wait. I think I heard a one of those stupid thingies. The... I don't remember what they're called. I just, remember, I just heard them. Maybe they're on the other side. Oh shit. Uh I'm I'm sorry. Shit, there's four. You first, though.
That was definitely a creepier route. And I seriously still don't have enough to go ahead and heal. I mean, heal. Uh, level up. Jesus. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Personal questions? Ah. Wait, I already did this. I already did this. Pepper, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. I thought I did. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. Tis true, tis true. Milton cheats patients out of their money at this hospital, Pippa. Are you his accomplice? Yes, I am. Is this your definition of being useful? By abusing the sick and poor? No. It is my definition of getting out of this useless life once and for all. Wow. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Okay, then. You. I think I'm something right. Good Can't evening, Mr. Albert. Evening, Dr. Reed. Ooh. Could take him on a stroll. I know. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Is that who I think it is? Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Reconstructive surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I don't want to wear a bloody mask for the rest of my life. I'd rather stay here and just be forgotten. Oops. Damn it. Goodbye for now, Mr. I fucked up. Hello again, Dr. Reed. I feel better already. Can I? Am I done with everything for you? I am. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. It's locked, all right. Damn, this ghost on every street corner. Daily routine. Good evening. Good evening. I'm present. Goodbye, Nas. You. Good evening, Miss Hunt. I need blood, Doctor. Warm. Her, I'm done. I'll Come leave on. you, Miss. Doctor Reed, may I help you? I'll see you later, Nurse Crane. Looks like the same character model. It is the same character model.
That one isn't. That one is. Three of the same character model type. Is there anything for you I have to talk to? Or what? Good evening, Good evening, Dr. Rick. No. Goodbye for now, Mr. F is there anybody here that needs healing? No, we're all good. Something I need to do with your dumbass, though. Let's finish it. Oh, wait, did I already get the knife? Because I have. Oh, where's the dumbass? Not you. You. Hey, Doc! I have found a gift from your wife. In that case, you'll be properly rewarded, Doc. Clay Cox is a man of his word. I hope that won't make me an accomplice to your future crimes. Who knows what I might do now I feel invincible again. Oh my god, can I just kill you? I could kill him. I really could. But I want to get these little hints first. Learn more about him and see if he really needs to be killed. Now, Mr. Cox. Okay, I think that was everything. That is everything here. It's not everything here. You are- I fucking hate you. You freaking died. Not my problem. Wait, I have enough to go ahead and level up. Sweet. Okay, so let's see if this bitch dies. Watch her die. I swear to god, I'm gonna go so- I'm gonna be so freaking mad. Wait, is there anything I can learn from you? Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Of course I am. Ooh. I already did this though, but I'll What's it. going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. Mm. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. Okay. But you, you could do get realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come yep. on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. True. Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see the city is crumbling down? Today people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow we may be fighting for food. True. Do That's you know tough. that Nurse Hawkins is thinking of leaving the hospital? That's not a surprise. We've talked about it already. Does it not bother you? Sometimes I think she may be right. We should run away while we can. Question is, where can we go? Where is it safe? Out of the country. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Woo! 296 damage? Fuck. What do you got? Hell, fuck yeah, I'm doing it. Let's go to sleep. First things first. Aluminum, aluminum shard, aluminum powder, glass file, ferrous tartrate. Cool. Oops, wait. Almost 
Okay. So let's change my weapons. Okay, let's see if she still lives. <laughs> Which one do I want more of, though? She won't tell this one up, but I think it's. Oh my god, it's 1300? Jesus! Okay then. Let's do blood absorption. I swear to god, if he dies, I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna be so freaking pissed. Oh god damn it! She's alive! She's still alive! Fuck yes! Woo! Woo! Still has a migraine. I don't know how to heal him. Okay. Headache. 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 I don't. Do I even have the stuff for a headache? Oh shit, that's gonna become a migraine fast. Uh. uh, bronchitis, pneumonia, sepsis, anemia, fatigue, cold. I don't have anything for a headache! Shit! I think I need to, um, progress the story a little bit. I'm gonna start progressing the story, because holy shit, I need stuff for headaches and migraines. Where's Swansea? Is he up here? Decades, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead, unalive, immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. Oh my god, really? <laughs> it may seem strange, but your words have brought me some comfort here. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. No there is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. 
And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. <laughs> Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. <laughs> Look for a delicate woman! Okay. I'm stealing this just because he said that shit. We ain't all delicate, sir. A lot of us can handle our own shit. Thank you. Do you need something, Jonathan? I have, a question. I have just a few questions. Then ask away. Oh my god! Okay, I'll do it later. It's we'll too much. Each other again. It's weird calling him Edgar. I, I hmm. Someone in a higher position, I have a hard time like saying their oops, wrong one. Saying their first names because it's it, in my culture, it's not that's 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 disrespectful. Okay, this, I I broke the game. Here we go. Ah! This could resale value. Okay. No tip and right measure, but no, 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 short discussion. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm too late to read this. I'm just trying to get a hint out of these. What's this warning letter? Uh. Okay, so. Uh, Blah, 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 some these a hazardous experiment. Okay. See, I got hints. Got to man, you to figure out how to get rid of the ten things. Oh shit. Okay. Too many. Okay, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Um, if you guys have any idea how to get the uh, cure for headache or migraines, please let me know down in the comments below. It would, I would really appreciate the help and hints, cause I have fucking no idea how to get those. Um, I don't even know how I got the other ones, but I think that's what I came with, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all the time I have for today. Um, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Keep smiling, everyone. Bye!